Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of the Cycling Forecast. My name is Anthony and we're gonna discuss today Milan de Sanremo, the Volta Ciclista Catalunya, and the upcoming races in Belgium, Classic Brugge de Pana, E3 and Gentwevel Gentwevel him. So first of all, Milano Sanremo. Race of 300 kilometers. We didn't see anything in the first 250 one ish uh we saw a crash of ale philippe we had a crash of bogachar before the race even started and then we had a horrible crash from uh botnach uh, that was it there was an attack they didn't get a lot of time they didn't get a lot of time normally they get like six seven minutes now it was only two to 30 i think was the maximum <coughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was it. Then we uh, came to the copies. Not much happened. The Chipresa was also pretty slow. But on the Pojo, it exploded. We saw Tim Wellens giving full gas. Then Pogacar taking over. Behind that, um, Trentin left stopped the other riders basically to follow so only four riders could follow so he let fell the hole between him and Pogacar and the four only to follow Pogacar were Ghana the biggest surprise for me that was Ghana Van Aert and Van der Poel so that was pretty awesome to see those three riders and uh yeah, Pogacar tried, like last year on the Poggio, but uh, didn't succeed. Um, Van der Poel, just before the top of the Poggio, placed his last attack, and he was gone. He had six sec seconds, and uh, Van Aert, Pogacar and Ganan could not close the gap anymore. He was clearly the strongest. It was also the fastest climb ever of the Poggio during a race. So that shows again that he was really good after a disappointing Tirreno. But I didn't believe that really, that he was not good because he was, he is world champion in the, in the cyclocross. So, and that's not so long, long ago. And he had to be on his best because Van Aert was there also. I don't say he lost on purpose in the Tirreno but I think those guys are approaching the races now differently not going every race full gas same with Van Aert we only saw him like twice in the Tirreno uh, he, we knew he was good and he was really good it's every time on the Poggio with Van Aert that he looks like he he is on his limit he told it himself but he was again there and it was now the fastest climb on the Poggio and he was still there uh, following Pogacar so that's gonna be very interesting to see in upcoming top races like the Ronde van Vlaanderen and such so yeah the first monument for uh, Van der Poel this year Milan San Remo is done La Primavera is over and now uh, we have new races to come up uh, first starting with the uh, world tour race of a week Volta Ciclista a Catalonia uh, very interesting race one of the toughest races of a week uh, like let's look at the sprinters and you know already enough why it's so tough because there is basically no sprinters. Uh, like the biggest names of sprinters are Kokar, Hofstetter, Groves, Mente, Hater, and then, yeah, Marit, and Roglic. That's, that's it. Impi maybe, and uh, Venturini. But that's really scraping the barrel already. 
without disrespecting, of course, those out other names a bit. Like Kokar and Hofstede are good, good sprinters. Mintem won something also this year. But if you look at the stages, there's not a lot of uh, sprint stages. There is basically none sprint stages. So I'm su I, I don't know what to expect of those riders. Sometimes the sprinter wins. Um, Matthews won a few races, so Kakar is like a little Matthews slide. Uh, Colbrelli showed here last year his last streaks, I think. After uh, he won a stage, he fell down with a heart attack or, or heart issues. So that's also that moment last year. Uh, but for DC, GC, it's way more fun. Uh, it's like I said, one of the toughest races that there is. And uh, we have big names on that part. Uh, Evenepoel, winner of the Vuelta last year. Hindley, winner of the Giro. Ben, ben O'Connor. Uh, Almeida. Landa. Drain Thomas. Carapaz. Primoz Roglic. Adam Yates. Manches. Always good for top 10 somewhere. Romain Badet. Gino Mater. Luke Plapp. It's very curious to see what he can do. Guillaume Martin. Ciccone. Kuss. Uran, and that are the biggest names, I think, yeah. Michael Woods, Van Wilder, Mark Soler, so that's that. We have also the young talent Lenny Martinez that I'm very curious to see what he can do in this race. So yeah, that's that. My favorite will be Roglic. After what he showed in Tirreno, and uh, yeah, I'm very curious to see that race. Then the first race next week in Belgium is Classic Brugge de Pana. We also have a women's version of that. Uh, a few years ago, we had one of the best races ever, in my opinion, with the crosswinds. Uh, I always hope it's gonna be like that again but it's probably gonna be for the sprinters and we have a lot of sprinters uh philipsen groenewegen kooi de maar bennett jacobsen thijsen ewen gaviria bauhaus tesson molano kanter vernon welsford meus consoni tuns ackerman nietzolle cavendish dainese uh, jonathan millen max walscheid his ball and many more uh, so yeah it's a world race so very important for points and such my guess is that Jacobs will win this one uh, he's still one of the fastest uh, didn't ride Milano Sanremo so yeah that's my guess uh, but I'm curious to see how how it will go. Uh, it can be a tough race. Mostly, it is uh, a sprint. But we have the Moore. The Moore, we know the Moore can be dangerous. The crosswinds, and we saw it a few years ago. So, why not again? Then Friday, one of my favorite races of the year, the E3 Saxo Bank Classic. If you win this, you're top favorite for the Ronde van Vlaanderen. That's what they say, and I believe that. Uh, who do we have starting? Betty Hall, Girmay, Seneschal, Asgreen, Benoit, Nase, Van Baarle. Bob Jungels, Kosnefra, Van Marke, Ghana, Stuyven, Mohoric, Laporte, Stefan Kung, Lamport, Stibar, Lutsenko apparently, Mats Pedersen, Gaviria, Wellens, Van der Poel, Kwiatkowski, 
Matthews, Van Aert, Alaphilippe en Pogacar, Christophe en Sagan. Uh, yeah, very interesting. I cannot say what what I'm gonna expect of this race. Will they go from the start? Uh, it's very it's very hard to say when when they're gonna throw the attacks in. It's a long race, 205 kilometers. Yeah, that's uh, but it's one of the most prestigious classics of the year, in my opinion. If you win this as one of the not big top riders your season and maybe your career is is good like uh, last year Van Aert won before Laporte as Green won the year before that and then we see on the list we see big names as Borne five times Pozzato, Cancellara, Sagan, Thomas yeah, and let's not forget Jaren Thomas was once a classic rider Kwiatkowski, Van Avermaal, Terpstra, Stibar, uh, Erversen, and then Van Petriem, Schmil, Museo, Plankart, Jan Raas, and many more. So yeah. And then the last race next week in Belgium. That's a classic. Gent Wevelgem. One of the races that they say together with uh, Stradibianche should be one of the monuments. I get that, but let's keep it the classic. Uh, for me, the five monuments are the five monuments, not any should be added. But Gent uh, can be a sprint, can be a sprint with 20 men, can be a race that gets. Uh, inflicted by crosswinds we can see attacks uh, it's mostly a race between cat and mouse uh, a small group before and then the peloton rushing behind we have a few interesting riders starting that we know already Van Aert, De Lee, Philips and Matt Spaders, Kong, Laporte, Christophe Matthews, Girmay, Koy, Merlier, Ghana, Bennett, Ewan, Jacobsen uh, Betiel, Stuiven, Van Avermaet, Wellens, Sagan, Lampard, and uh, many more again. Van Marken and such. Uh, yeah, very interesting to see who is going to win this one. Uh, last year it was, of course, historical with the win of Girmay, uh, the first African rider to win a classic. Yeah. Maybe we get like an edition of 2015 with Luca Paolini winning. Who remembers that one? Uh, one of the toughest races ever, I think, in modern cycling. If you see Paolini won and then Terps and Thomas are 11 seconds behind, Van den Berg 18, De Buscher 26, Van Marke 40. Jurgen Rulands 150 already on 7 plates and then Os number 8 was on 415 and then the whole peloton on 654 only 39 riders finished that day insane insane one of the greatest races I've seen and also the one with uh, White Van Aert was very impressive so Thanks for listening. Did you like this video? Leave a like. Do you want to be a guest on my podcast? Send me a message. Uh, you want to see more of this content? Subscribe. And I see you in the next video. Bye bye.